Uh, tak zdravím všechny diváky Grip TV. Uh, rozhodl jsem se, že pro vás tady vyspovídám jedno super rajdra vlastně z MotoGP, který letos jede vlastně lightweighty. Minulý rok jel i super sporty, dneska letos bohužel jede jenom lightweight, ale myslím si, že byste rádi slyšeli, co si o tom myslí třeba takový jezdec z MotoGP. So, uh, Danny, what do you, what, what's your bikes for this year TT and what you riding this year? Uh, this year I'm just back on the KMR Kawasaki uh, 650 and in the lightweight class, so it's, uh, you know, I prefer to get more time out on the track, And um, but it is what it is, we're here now and, and we just got to get on with it, but for next year I think we're going to uh, um, get a super sport bike and, um, yeah, do both classes just for just for track time to get my track knowledge up and, you know, last year is my first year, so um, I need I need the laps and, uh, yeah, so next year that's that's the plan for next year. Yeah. Uh, takže Dani říká, že vlastně letos uh, jede bohužel jenom třídu lightweightů uh, za KMR Kawasaki. Bohužel ho mrzí, že nemůže mít uh, víc bajků, protože, jak říká, uh, potřeboval by větší víc času na trati na jiných bajcích, aby měl natrénováno a říká, že určitě na příští rok se chystá, aby tu startovali na supersportu a možná i na superbajku, takže se máme na co těšit. And, uh, uh, what, uh, what do you think uh, about uh, the track this year is it well prepared is it lots of changes on the track or how do you find it yes yeah, uh, it seems good you know I mean Keppel Gates the main the main place where it's changed but um, all in all the track seems in good condition and uh, the times are already already fast for this year uh, you know and, and yeah it, it feels good another year here it's nice to come back and and know where I'm going you know yeah. but uh, you know again it's it's just another learning year for me just uh, another year's experience and Um, yeah, just take, take it as it comes and, and see where we end up. Uh, takže Dani říká, že vlastně jsem se optal, jak, jak vnímá trať letos, jestli tam je hodně změn, třeba bylo změno, změno spoustu povrchů, takže on říká, že uh, udělali dobrou práci vlastně organizátoři a že on to vnímá pořád stále jako zl, uh, učení, učení se na té trati, chce se zlepšovat a samozřejmě říká, že prostě je potřeba tady jezdit co nejvíc tréninku. And uh, that now uh, ordinary question, uh, what do you think about MotoGP compared to... TT Isle of Man. Um, it's a lot different, yeah, that's for sure. But you know, the people are nice here, and and they're normal people. You know, they they treat everyone the same, and uh, that, that's that's the positive thing. You know, MotoGP is very political, and uh, it, it is a lot about the sponsors. Like the whole sport's about the sponsors, you know. But here, it just it, it seems more like it's more about the bike racing rather than the the political side of things. But uh, MotoGP is a fantastic, fantastic organization, and and uh, you know that. They got the best riders in the world, but uh, to come here when I first said I was going to come here, everyone thought I was a bit crazy. But <laughs> it's always been a dream of mine to do it, and I'm here doing it. So, uh, you know, I wanted to do something different when I come out of MotoGP to to do something different and to do it on a on a big stage. Uh, I thought this is the place to be, and I've wanted to do it. So, uh, yeah, it's good, you know. But it's uh, it's like going back to your grassroots, you know, and and learning everything again. It's it's exciting, and uh, yeah, just. If I if I had the chance to go back to MotoGP, I would, but I would I would miss this because you can't do both. Um, but at the minute, this is my priority, and uh, this is what I, this is what I want to make a career of. Is there any restriction on the if you're doing MotoGP, you cannot do the TT? I'm I'm not too sure. I think there is. You know, I think the FIM uh, don't don't allow it. Um, I think that's the case, but I'm not too sure. Uh, I know if you're in a world championship, you can't do it, so I assume that that's that's the only reason. Um, like at the minute, I'm doing British Championship. It's a it's an ACU event, so um, you know the same as same as it is here. So it's uh, yeah, no, it's, it's it's fantastic. So it's nice to be doing the British Championship and and coming in and doing this, you know, and doing some roads now and again when we get the chance to. Yeah, thanks a lot for your time, and we wish you best of luck for this TT. Cheers, thank you. Cheers. Thanks a lot, Danny. Cheers. Uh, takže Danny nám řekl, já jsem se optal, jaký je vlastně hlavní rozdíl mezi MotoGP a TT a Danny říkal, že to je absolutně jiný sport, že vlastně se nedá srovnat ta atmosféra, hlavně v tom padoku, protože sponzoři, pokud jste v MotoGP, tak hlavně tlačí na ty SC, tady žádný pražer necítí, tady se vlastně cítí svobodně, říkal, že organizátoři se chovají ke každému stejně, bez rozdílů a že si velice užívá tu atmosféru tady a je to jedna z věcí, kterou si vždycky přál dělat, 
když vlastně skončí v MotoGP, že bych chtěl vždycky zkusit uh, TT Ostrovman, takže ještě jsem se ho potom zeptal, uh, jestli jsou nějaké omezení, pokud vlastně závodíte v MotoGP, jestli nemůžete TT, on říká, že pravděpodobně asi je, neví to úplně jistě, ale myslí si, že tam určitý omezení je a že letos vlastně jede britský superbajky, účastní se tam a je strašně rád, že si může jakoby oddychnout od toho presu, který tam na sobě samozřejmě cítí ten tlak a může přijet sem a užívat si tady ten závod. Pro Grip TV Indy dokoupil.